Hello, my name is Shane Hinzey and thank you so much for stopping by on my video today. Today I'm going to be reviewing Patrick Star One Size Beauty Powder Foundation. You guys, I am beyond excited to test out this new powder from One Size Beauty. If you guys don't know, Patrick Starr came out with his own brand called One Size Beauty, and I think the message behind the brand and everything is fantastic no matter what you look like, your gender, ethnicity, anything. Makeup is for everybody, and I just love what this brand stands for. One size fits all. I just think it's really, really neat. So when he came out with this new powder foundation, oh bless you, Leo. Leo just sneezed. <laughs> Leo's hanging out with me while I'm filming. When I saw and heard about Patrick Starr coming out with a new powder, I was a little surprised that his first like foundation product would be a powder. As you guys know, Patrick Starr loves full coverage. He's all about concealing and just making sure everything is flawless. And one of the first things I expected from him was a liquid foundation, but this is not bad. He does love setting with a loose powder, which he has already created, which I've heard great things about. But now he has this powder foundation. I'm actually filming this on the day that it launches. I got this a couple days ago, and I'm so excited to be testing it out and doing the wear test today on April 9th. It is launching on his website, so One Size Beauty and Sephora. So you can now purchase it, which is awesome. The details about this powder. It's time to amp up that beat. Our buttery smooth medium to buildable coverage powder foundation delivers a 12 hour multi-use formula and a soft matte, never flat finish. There are 32 shades in this, which is absolutely amazing. I went ahead and looked at his video kind of talking about the powder and I want to apply this powder how he did in the video. So for a soft beat, I'm gonna first apply the Secure the Blur Primer, then apply a little bit of concealer and blend it out and set it with the ultimate powder. Here, you guys, I am not using any liquid cream stick foundation, just concealer and the powder. And my goal here is to even out my skin tone. So my shade is medium five. I like to dust it all over with a large brush. Brush. And for a little bit of extra coverage to cover my hyperpigmentation, I'm gonna go ahead and take a powder puff, swipe it in the compact, and put it on my cheek to add a little bit of extra coverage. The packaging on this powder is really cool, but it does, as you can see, it holds a lot of fingerprints, so that is a bit of a bummer. The shade that I picked out is light to neutral. If you're new to my channel, I have a lot of acne scarring, and my skin right now is pretty normal to combination. I do get oily on my nose still, but otherwise I'm pretty normal, almost dry everywhere else on my skin. And as you can see, I have a lot of hyperpigmentation and scarring from acne. In Patrick's video, what he did is he actually went in and concealed the areas on his face where he wanted a little bit more coverage, so like under his eyes and then any blemishes. I'm gonna try not to conceal too many blemishes on my face just to see what kind of coverage we can get with the powder, but I will be putting concealer on under my eyes and just anywhere else I feel like it's necessary. I went ahead and just put my concealer on, the e.l.f. Camo Concealer in the shade Fair Warm, and I tapped it in with my fingers, and then what I did is I put the Catrice HD Setting Spray on my fingers, and then I continued to tap the concealer under my eyes, and I've noticed that it's been helping with any of the fine lines. Um, under my eyes, I saw that hack on TikTok, so that's what I did just now. Patrick Starr in his video said that he goes in with just a large powder brush um, to set his concealer or anything that he is doing on the face. And then he goes in with a powder puff for more coverage. I'm gonna go in with a powder puff from the get-go just because I really want the most coverage. As you can see, I have a lot of hyperpigmentation. I got these powder puffs on Amazon. They look very reminiscent to the Tati um, beauty like powder puffs, this triangle shape. 
it came in a pack of 10 and it just fits like so well under the eyes and everything so i thought these were really really cool and i wanted to test these out i'm also going to use a microfiber sponge as well as you guys haven't seen the l'oreal infallible powder foundation review that i did the sponge really packed on the coverage let's dive in and see what this looks like Where's the coverage? Do I really have to build it up? This definitely looks a little dark for me. Also, let's go in with the Junoco fiber microfiber sponge and it's not wet. So I'm just gonna, oh yeah, see, look how much. <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah, look how much powder. seems like the microfiber sponge is the best way to go but like I said this shade definitely looks a little too dark for me it looks better in person it's showing up like super dark on camera um, but let's see what this looks like up close actually this doesn't look too bad I am pleasantly surprised it doesn't look heavy or anything and it's sitting on the skin really nicely. It feels very smooth. The hydrating primer underneath definitely helped, but I am going in with like a lot of powder to really like get it in there. The concealer didn't do too much for under my eyes. So I'm gonna go in with my Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. You see how that point just fits so well under the eye. Just gonna buff it in here. There we go. What do we think? It actually doesn't look too, too bad. It doesn't have like the best coverage. So if I were to wear this again by itself, I would definitely spot conceal underneath. And this shade, like I said, is a little dark for me. I'm gonna go ahead and do my bronzer, blush, all that stuff. I'm not gonna do any eyeshadow thing. I'm just gonna leave. Um, my eyes as is and just put on a little bit of mascara go a little natural as Patrick Starr was saying this is his more natural coverage look not to put it on top of liquid powder so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I'll be right back we are back and I have all of my products on my face I actually have a combination of two different mascaras on I have the L'Oreal air mega volume waterproof and then the lash princess from essence in waterproof as well and I feel like it made my eyelashes like actually existent again it's showing up like super dark on my face compared to like the rest of my body but it doesn't look too bad in person I think it's just like the lighting and everything like that so don't mind my tan face but everything looks actually Actually really good like I am pleasantly surprised with how not cakey this looks with the amount of powder that I was putting on it is clinging to some of the dryness from some of like the acne that I have the hydrating primer definitely helped a lot and I do want to set it with setting spray to see if it does anything that's what everything's looking like it actually I'm like surprised with how decent this looks by itself definitely way better than the l'oreal infallible powder that's for sure the time right now is 1 18 i'm gonna wear this as long as i can so that's what we're doing right now i'll show you guys what it looks like out in natural lighting as well and let's see how this wears throughout the day it is now what time is it now Five thirty. Oh, what's you crying for? You gonna tell them about the foundation, hmm? Mr. Booty? What? What you want? Oh, there's Luna. The foundation is looking so good. Like the oils in my face are really just making everything, I don't know, look really 
good. When I got home, my boyfriend was like, oh, you look bronzed. You look glowy. Mm. Everything is looking decent so far. Hello, the time is now 10.30. So I've had this foundation on for nine hours and I am pleasantly surprised with how this powder foundation wore today. Um, as you can see, my skin definitely is looking a lot shinier. Um, I'm not sure if that's from the hydrating primer or not, but everything is just settled into my skin. I have a hair somewhere. As you can hear, Leo is crying up a storm. <laughs> He's always like, oh my gosh, feed me, even though I fed him literally not that long ago. I don't know what he's doing. Everything just looks really, really good. I'll do a close up and show you. Everything is just sitting on my skin really nicely. My boyfriend came home from work. He was like, your face just looks really glowy and healthy. And my friend Ivory, I was talking to her today, um, you know, just with the foundation on. She was like, you look so good. You just look so tan and healthy and glowy. And I definitely have to agree, like my skin looks pretty decent for having a powder foundation on. I would not expect a powder to look this way whatsoever. So I am beyond excited to try this out with a liquid foundation as well because it'll definitely add a lot more coverage. What you doing, Leo? That is everything. Like seriously, this foundation surprised me. What you want? Mm. Here's the cry baby. Oh, but then see, then I pick him up and he doesn't want to. <laughs> what you doing? What you crying for? You're being so silly. Yeah, I'm definitely surprised with how this foundation wore. It definitely exceeded my expectations. I honestly didn't have the best expectations just because of trying the L'Oreal Infallible Powder and my experience with that. Honestly, it wasn't that great. And if you haven't checked out that video, definitely check it out. That foundation blew up on TikTok. So I had, you know, high expectations. I thought it would be really good, but this actually, Patrick Star, you did a great job with this powder foundation. It definitely <laughs> held up pretty well. So I would definitely suggest if you have normal to oily skin, this will definitely work out for you. Thank you all so much for watching my video today and I'll see you guys next time.